He terrorized unsuspecting women as they were out for a walk or a run in Saratoga County, and now he's heading to prison. Yeah, Tyler Gaston attacked three women over three days in September, and for that he was sentenced today to eight years behind bars. It was a frightening time for women who walk or run on trails around here. It was late September, two bold daytime attacks on women on the Zim Smith Trail. Each time, the attackers sexually assaulting the women. They managed to fight him off, and it wasn't long before Tyler Gaston was under arrest. Three days earlier, also in broad daylight, that same man attacked a woman as she cut through a Saratoga Springs cemetery on her way to work. Gaston was sentenced today. The victim of the Saratoga Springs attack gave an impact statement to the court. In keeping with News Channel 13 policy, we are not identifying her. I was convinced that I was fighting for my life. Never before had I felt such raw fear, such helplessness. When it transpired over a minute, it felt like an eternity. I pushed, pulled, screamed, and ran my way to freedom. Because of these three strong women who bravely fought back, when the defendant tried to change their lives forever. It's only because of them that this crime was not worse, that these crimes are not worse. When Judge Jim Murphy gave Gaston the chance to speak, the 27-year-old apologized. I'm very deeply sorry for what happened, what I did, and who I hurt, and I'm going to do everything I can to become a better person. The judge sentenced Gaston to the agreed-upon eight years and scolded him for blaming depression caused by the pandemic as his reason for attacking three strangers. The criminal conduct that you attack a, a woman in broad daylight is as brazen as it can get and it is as frightening for a victim of a crime as it can get. The judge also sentenced Gaston to 10 years post-release supervision, which is the maximum.